The name Ezra is a Hebrew male name meaning help or helper. Now, it is not uncommon for men to glory in their strength. The word male is usually associated with strength, power, or being strong. And usually in life, when in need for heavy lifting, one's thought is first geared towards seeking help from a male or a group of males. Now, physical strength is good and a gift from God. It is a blessing when used for the purpose given. This thought is very true when we look at the life of Samson. I'll encourage you to read the book of Judges. It tells us about the great strength of Samson. On many occasions, the Bible tells us that when the Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson, he did so many things with his physical strength that were beyond human comprehension. One of them was that he ripped the lion's jaw bones with his bare hands. I call that great physical strength, wouldn't you? I believe Ezra being a male was physically strong as well. And with a name like Ezra, it will not be surprising to me that he did just what his name meant, helping people in the various ways that he could. The Bible records times when he helped people understand scriptures by teaching them the word of God. Now we can see a recording of his teaching in Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 13 to 17 and also in the book of Ezra. A person who teaches others, especially the word of God, is someone who knows that life is impossible without the help of God and without the help from God. It's also someone who is aware that physical strength fails at some point and there is a desperate need to depend on God's help. And it's also someone who understands that it is possible to depend on God's help because God's help is sure, it's guaranteed, and it's ever-present. Amen. Now, as a friend, a father, a co-worker, and you name it, imagine how much relief you'll get when the people around you no longer come to you or depend on you for everything, including help. Rather, seek help from the helper himself, even as you do likewise. If they must come to you or if you must go to them, it is such that you all are looking up to God for answers. Amen. Let's look at an example in the book of Ezra chapter 8 from verse 21 to 23 as I read from the New International Version. This story tells us how Ezra helped the people around him focus on God for help and answered prayers. I read, There by the Ahava Canal I proclaimed a fast so that we might humble ourselves before our God and ask him for a safe journey for us and our children with all our possessions. I was ashamed to ask the king for soldiers and horsemen to protect us from the enemies on the road because we had told the king that the gracious hand of our God is on everyone who looks to him, but his great anger is against all who forsake him. So we fasted and petitioned our God about this, and he answered our prayer. Amen. It's very obvious that the facilitator of this fast and petition to God was Ezra because he was the leader. He was going to lead them on this journey. And the Bible clearly tells us that he proclaimed a fast on this um, verse 21. It says, I proclaimed a fast. Amen. Now, knowledge of the word of God gives us the opportunity to live self-sufficient lives in Christ. A life whereby you can be guaranteed that when you look up to God, he will answer you. Knowledge about the word of God also gives us the opportunity to know that God is our ever-present help. 
He is very dependable and will not fail us. Physical strength, although great, is very limiting. The God kind of help has been made available to us, available to the male. This help or the helper, I will say, is the person of the Holy Spirit. My question to you this day is, do you know him? In this day and age, we have the resources to learn more about his help and benefit from it. The Bible describes the Holy Spirit as the helper. I'll read for you John chapter 14 verse 26 from the New King James Version. It says, But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Amen. It says, the helper, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our helper. As much as we depend on man for help, we must be aware that the Holy Spirit has been made available to us as our help. So as a male in your own environment, in your own community, or wherever you find yourself, my encouragement to you is this. Always teach the people around you the benefits of depending on the helper himself. Do not make yourself the center of attention whereby when people are in need, you're the go-to person. Rather, teach them to know that the Holy Spirit, their helper, is the go-to person. Always remember to continually challenge them to seek the helper. And by so doing, you're helping them keep their focus where it needs to be. Amen.